My name is Almut Kerster. I'm a senior lecturer at the University of Birmingham in Applied Linguistics and English Language. And my background is, uh, before that, in English language teaching, teaching a general English, business English, teacher training in those areas as well. My considerations when I was writing Business Advantage was that I wanted to publish material, business English material, that included real examples from business meetings and conversations. This grew partly out of my own teaching experience. Uh, when I was teaching Business English, I was always slightly frustrated by the fact that I was never really sure if the examples that I was using for my course books were what people actually said in real business interactions. I think English will remain the world's most popular language for some time to come, because if you look at many areas of work and life, it's clear that English is being used international, for example, internationally in business. It's also being used in academia in my own field. Uh, many people wanted to publish in English and many university programs in Europe but also further afield are being taught through English. So at the moment it's uh, very hard to see how that's going to change in the near future. What's my favorite film? That's a difficult one because I have lots of favorites but two that come to mind and have nothing to do with uh, ELT whatsoever because they don't really involve very much language are um, a film that came out, I think, about 10 years ago, the Buena Vista Social Club, which I don't know if people know about nowadays, but it was a movie about uh, some very old um, boys in Cuba who were singers and who'd been forgotten and who were rediscovered. And uh, so it's a wonderful film about um, community, about music, about singing, and it's got wonderful music. And um, more recently, another film, which again doesn't involve language at all, but involves dance. There was a, a, a a recent movie by uh, Wim Wenders called Pina, which was about Pina Bausch, who was a German choreographer, and it's a wonderful movie about her dance company, and um, those are two films that come to mind. My secret teaching tip is that less is more. So I think as teachers, we, don't, we always think we need to be super prepared. Well, we should be prepared, but we always think we need to give and give and give, but I think we need to learn to let the students say something, let the students input into the classroom and that way it will not only be less exhausting for us, it will be more enjoyable and more motivating for the students.